What up? It's your boy, Commander Liquid Shepard. I'm here on the Normandy SR2, and we're going to take a tour. Let's start off over here with my girl, Kelly Chambers. What up, Kelly? Morden's psych profile warned of hyper behavior, but he is like a hamster on coffee. He's going to be a very productive member of the team. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Yo, how's the crew doing? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. Alright, so why... <laughs> so, what do you think of Cerberus? This organization has a dark reputation. Do you have any concerns working for them? Not at all. Our methods can be harsh, but Cerberus has noble objectives. We look out for human interests. Advance human technology, save human lives. They're good goals. You think Cerberus hates human, hates aliens? It sounds like Cerberus wants to dominate all aliens and put humankind on top. Cerberus looks out for humanity, but that doesn't mean we hate aliens. My sister started a dog shelter, but she loved cats too. I love humanity. I also love Asari, Quarian, Turian, Salarian, Hanar. That isn't in conflict with Cerberus ideals. Alright, take That'll it easy. That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. Alright, I'm going to take you to the throwback from the SR-1, my favorite pilot in the Alliance, my favorite pilot in the galaxy, Joker. What up, Joker? Commander. How are things in the cockpit? I assume everything is going well up here. I really want a chance to put the Normandy through her paces. I just have to trim up the drive output and it'll be like we never lost her. Safety standards advise against manipulating drive settings while engines are powered and in use, Mr. Moreau. Commander, can we shut this thing off? I don't need it in my day-to-day. -day. Come on, man. Adapt to it. I don't have time to babysit you, Joker. Find a way to deal with it. Yeah, reasoning with the intercom is not my strong point. Your problem, not mine. Thanks. I'll remember this. <laughs> Alright, take it easy. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Got yeah, some of these code controls. Where are they? Uh, oh, there we go. Examine some of these controls. Haptic adaptive interface. What? That's right. The SR2 got haptic adaptive interface. All right. We're in the armory now. This is where we keep all the guns. Let's see what we got on load. Alright, let's load me up. We got the hand cannon and the Predator heavy pistol. I'm gonna stay with the hand cannon on that one. Jacob, what you up to? Commander, there hasn't been time to really settle in and take stock. I want to say that working with you is a great opportunity to do something that matters. It's a privilege to serve on the Normandy, Commander. Hey, it's a risky assignment. You may change your tune if we end up like the original Normandy. Maybe. As long as the elusive man walks his talk, and you do the same, I'll do my best to make sure we succeed. That's been the condition for my service so far. I have issues with certain actions Cerberus has taken in the past. You know, what, what actions are those? What has Cerberus done to make you nervous? A lot. They've been called terrorists, and with good reason. Doubt you can find a more checkered past. But if the collector threat is real, and we do something about it, Cerberus will be remembered differently. Or we'll all be tried and executed. Can't count on people thinking about it as hard as I have. I appreciate your honesty, bro. It's good to hear a clear opinion. Sounds like we're two of a kind. That honors me more than you, Commander. Let me know if you need anything. Uh, check it out. It's the conference room. Edie, tell them what's up with this room. What's this area of the ship? This is the FTL communications room. In addition to interfacing with the FTL comm network, Normandy is fitted with a quantum entanglement communicator linked to the elusive man's office. 
This allows lag-free communication even when you operate off the comm grid. Well, that sounds useful. Why aren't these used everywhere? Each quantum pair costs nearly as much as a comm relay, and can pass only one quantum bit of data at a time. In addition to the cost and bandwidth issues, the system is strictly point-to-point. -point. To contact a hundred different worlds, we would need to manufacture and install a hundred entangled pairs, one link to each world. Jeez. Well, that's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. All right, we're heading into the tech lab. Let's see how Morden is doing. We just scooped him up from Omega. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Of course. Plague on Omega dealt with plenty of time to analyze collector intelligence. Impressive laboratory setup. Missed working for operations with a budget. AI in particular, very helpful. Best setup I've seen since work with Special Tasks Group. Oh, snap. You work for the TST? You said you were in the Special Tasks Group. What kind of research were you doing? Not simply research. Several recon missions. Covert, high risk, served under young captain named Kirihi. Studied Krogan genophage, took water, tissue samples from Krogan colonies. Yo, I met Kirihi. He was on Vermeer. I worked with me. an SDG captain named Kirihi. His team helped me destroy Saren's cloning facility on Vermeer. Heard Kirihi died on Vermeer. Not enough equipment for operation. Still managed to take down facility. Good captain. Dedicated. Bit of a cloaca, though. Loved his speeches. Hold the line. Personally prefer to get job done and go home. Probably yeah, military bravado. Jonkin. Chest pounding. Uh, no offense. Alright, then take it. I'll take take it easy, nice Morton. Nice talking with you, Morton. I should get back to work. Need to study. So much data. Here, if you need me. Alright. I'm gonna take a trip to the elevator. Go down to the crew quarters. It's where most of the crew hangs out. Essential personnel to keep the ship running. I can't do what I do without them. Crew deck. How's everybody doing? Hey guys, how you doing? Surprise again. Come on, Rupert. I'm sorry, princess. Filet mignon and caviar coming right up. Let me just get out my doilies. That'd be real nice, Mr. Gardner. Hey, what's up? Commander Shepard, the hero of the Citadel. You did humanity proud that day. Miss Sergeant Rupert Gardner here. How can I be of service? Need anything? You have everything you need. I make do. But have you ever tried to prepare a decent meal with military provisions? I'm good, but I'm no miracle worker. Taking down the collectors is going to be rough business. The crew deserves a few fine meals before they throw themselves into the fire. How can I help? What do you need? If I had some quality ingredients... Oh shit. You've got more to worry about than grocery shopping on the Citadel. Forget I mentioned it. Man, don't worry about it. Just give me the list. If I head that way, I'll keep an eye out. Much appreciated. Most of this list is probably standard fare for those Namby Pambies on the Citadel. Anything else you'd like to talk about? So what do you actually do around here? What do you do here on the Normandy? What don't I do? Most think of me as the ship's cook, but I'm also the facilities technician and custodian. HVAC, plumbing, non-mission critical electrical, I make sure they're all clean and running. Uh... What? So the man cleaning the toilets is also preparing the meals. I wash my hands. Most of the time. This ain't no luxury liner. You have to pull your own weight in a Cerberus vessel. And I catch what falls through the cracks. <laughs> through the cracks. Uh... Well, uh, take it easy. I won't take any more of your time. Back to work. Yeah, I think I'm gonna be eating MREs for a while. Till, like, uh, I see his actual work getting them. I think I'll also pick up some soap for the guy. Edie, tell him what this is. What's this about. area of the ship? The sick bay. It is equipped to provide short term emergency care. In the event of critical injury, personnel must be transferred to a fully equipped medical facility. Wait. 
Oh my god, Dr. Shuck was. Commander Shepard. I watched the Normandy crumble with you on board. It's good to see you alive. Good to see you too. Nice to see a familiar face, Doctor. I feel the same. I wish more of the original crew could be here. The kind of trauma you endured would have changed most people. But not you, I see. Welcome back, Shepard. Why'd you join Cerberus? You're not the Cerberus type, Doctor. I don't work for Cerberus. I work for you. On a mission that may be crucial to the survival of the human race. I have faith that your dealings with Cerberus will be ethical. I trust uh, you, Commander. Do you need anything? Do you have everything you need? I believe so. This medical bay seems very much like the sick bay on the original Normandy. Only thing missing are my private reserves. I even had a bottle of Ceres ice brandy that I was saving for a special occasion. Oh, really? I'll keep an eye out. I'll keep an eye out for a replacement bottle. Oh, you needn't. It's expensive, and we have much larger concerns ahead. Uh, don't worry about it. I'll talk to you later. I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. Alright, we're gonna go talk to Miranda. She, she doesn't like me very much. Right now, the, mu the feeling's mutual. Commander, what can I do for you? What's up? Do you have a minute, Miranda? No doubt you've got a lot of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as most people believe. If I can help allay any of your concerns, I'd be happy to do so. So, what would you like to know? I want to know about you. Tell me about yourself, Miranda. Well, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. Well, you should probably know that I've had extensive genetic modification. Not my decision, but I make the most of it. It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. I'm very good at just about anything I choose to do. <laughs> what, kind of <laughs> what kind of modifications? What level of genetic modification are we talking about? That's very thorough. Physically, I'm superior in many ways. I heal quickly and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. My biotic abilities are also very advanced. For a human. Add to that some of the best training and education money can buy and... Well, it's pretty impressive, really. Well, you certainly don't like lack it. for confidence. It's just a fact. My reflexes, my strength, even my looks, they're all designed to give me an edge. No point in hiding from it. It's the reason I'm trusted to oversee the most dangerous, risky, and technically demanding operations Cerberus undertakes. And it's why I was assigned to you. It's my job to make sure you succeed, Shepard. Alright. Well... Uh, nice to have you aboard. I'll talk Thanks to you later. Thanks for the information, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Whatever you need. Okay, so she's a replicant. But whatever. Oh, hang on. Let's see if there's anybody in here. Oh, she's a cutie. How old? Ah, uh, she'll be a year old next month. Oh, you'll miss her first birthday. Well, my family lives in New Canton. Oh, uh, that colony's on the edge of the frontier. Could be vulnerable to collector attack, couldn't it? Exactly. It's most important that she have a first birthday. That's why I'm here. Check it out. From the crew quarters, you can hear that nice little home and rumble of the... Core, the engine, the engine core. All right. Speaking of which, let's go check it out. Well, if CSC is the brains of the ship, this right here is the heart. All right. Let's see what's up. What up, guys? You came all the way down here to see us? You're speaking to our commanding officer. What up, guys? Hello. I'm touring the ship, getting to know my crew. 
I'm Engineer Ken Donnelly, handling the power control systems. This is Gabby. That's Engineer Gabriella Daniels, actually. I'm responsible for the propulsion systems. What can we do for you, Commander? Uh, alright. Why'd you guys join Cerberus? How did you wind up with Cerberus, Ken? Once you were gone, the Alliance brass descended like vultures, tearing apart everything you'd said. I was very public with my defense for you. I didn't hold back. That's an understatement. If Kenneth wasn't such a talented engineer, they'd have court-martialed him for insubordination. But it got me noticed by the elusive man. He made an offer, and here I am. Alright, what about you, Gabby? So why did you join, Gabby? Kenneth and I have been partners in crime since we graduated from Tech Academy. When he got the Cerberus offer, I insisted that it include me. He'd fall apart without me. Thanks, Mum. Also, I love engines, and the Normandy is state-of-the-art. When I got the opportunity to work on her, I had to jump. Alright, you guys need anything? Are you set up okay down here? We can't complain. I just wish it didn't take so long to calibrate the FBA arrays. The Kenneth, you're complaining. No, that's alright. What's the issue? What kind of problems are you having? When they upgraded the Normandy design, they got a bit sloppy with the FBA couplings. I won't bore you with the tech, but there's an array of attenuators in the primary power transfer system that channels the field bleed. Kenneth, you're boring the commander with tech. In short, if we had T6 FBA couplings installed, it'd save us a lot of maintenance time each day. Uh, why don't you have them now? Why isn't something like that already installed? It's probably just a design oversight. Efficiency isn't affected. It's a maintenance issue. Also, the T6 model can be hard to find. Nash and Stellar Dynamics discontinued them. We could probably find used ones in the Omega markets, but we have no time for shore leave. I'm heading to Omega soon. I'll get you. Carry on. Will do, Commander. I'm amazed Shepard came down to see us. I told you he would. Check it out. A big ball of mass energy. Alright. We also have another crew member to check on. Picked up a mercenary. What up, Masoni? Thinking about past missions. Got a minute. You might learn something. I was trying right. to remember how many Cerberus operatives I've killed. Lost track around 50. Guess your elusive man's big on forgiveness. Yeah, don't trust that. Beauty, isn't it? Pride that off the Krogan warlord, Kazak. Used to run the blood pack out of Omega about 17 years ago. Wasn't even a job. The guy just thought he'd hijack a freighter I was hitchhiking on. Big mistake. I goaded Kizak into one-on-one -on -one combat. Took out his legs, grabbed his gun, and killed every blood pack bastard in the room. That was the most beaten Krogan I've ever seen. Kept a helmet to remind me of that pained expression. Damn, okay. Oh yeah, that's a model of the Varakan. Turian frigate. Hell of a ship. I led a mission to bring that thing down from the inside with just five whatever guns we could bring. No chance of success, but we did it. Everyone died but me. So I made out like a bandit. My first impossible mission as an independent contractor. There's been many since, but nothing so goddamn sweet as watching that Turian warship crash planet side. Crash the ship on a planet. Wow, okay. Hey, don't touch. That rifle's older than you are. I call her Jesse. That's my lucky charm. More men have been killed with that gun than died in the Skillian Blitz. The day I laid her to rest was the saddest day of my life. I give up every weapon I own for one more mission with that shitty old rifle. man who has an unusual attachment to an inanimate object. Gotcha. Hey! What the? Spying on everyone? She's gonna keep it. Jesus, Masani. Watch yourself.
Alright, time to get some work done. We're gonna head back to Omega. We gotta pick up, uh, like some guy named, I don't know, some, uh, Turian or something like that. Come with me, Masani. Don't like leaving you on the ship. You're gonna keep an eye on Masani. going after life might as well meet the queen come on let me in are you expecting me? can I help you what are you looking at dude I don't have time for scrubs don't you have something better to do than pick fights with people you don't know no, just the ones who get in my face. You see my gun. Do you really want to do this? I... Fine. You're off the hook. For now. See you around. This place is swanky. <laughs> a lot bigger than that club on in the Citadel. I knew a bar out on the front that looked like this. Me and some friends got stupid one night. Long story short, tempers flared, followed by pistols. We all got out, said my buddy Narka. Places like this are slaughterhouses, dressed as nightclubs. I shit you not. Oh my god. I'm gonna buy this Berndy. I gotta give this to Chakwas. Might as well get a drink. Yeah, I'm good. I walk away. I got business. Well, that took the edge off. Talk, talk to Aria. 
What up, lady? That's close enough. Stand still. Uh, if you're looking for weapons, you're doing a terrible job. If you're looking for weapons, you're not doing a very good job. Can't be too careful with dead specters. That could be anyone wearing your face. I was told you're the person to talk to if I have questions. They're clean. Depends on the questions. You run Omega? <laughs> Everyone needs more something, and they all come to me. I'm the boss, CEO, queen, if you're feeling dramatic. It doesn't matter. Omega has no title ruler, and only one ruler. Don't fuck with Arya. Simple enough. I like it. Easy to remember. If you forget, someone will remind you. Then I toss your sorry ass out the nearest airlock. Been there, done that, don't like it. Calm down. So, what can I do for you? Alright, I'm looking for a guy called Archangel. I'm trying to track down Archangel. You and half of Omega. You want him dead too? Uh, no. I'm putting a team together. He's on my list. Interesting. You're gonna make some enemies teaming up with Archangel. That's assuming you can get to him. He's in a bit of trouble right now. What's the trouble? What kind of trouble? The local Merc groups have joined forces to take him down. They've got him cornered, but it sounds like they're having trouble finishing him off. They've started hiring anybody with a gun to help them. That could be our way in. They're using a private room for recruiting. Just over there. I'm sure they'll sign you up. What groups are after him? Which Merc groups are after our danger? Blue Suns, Eclipse, Blood Pack. They're Omega's major players. Unless they're at war, you'll never see them together. But one thing they hate more than each other is Archangel. What about you? Do you hate Archangel? I don't have time for hate. But I distrust them all equally. For now, I'm happy just to let them kill each other. What do you know about him? What can you tell me about Arcade? Not as much as I'd like. He showed up here several months ago and started causing all sorts of problems. If you make your own laws, which everyone here does, he makes life difficult. He's reckless and idealistic. But he seems to know enough to stay clear of me. Well, thank you. I appreciate the help. See if you still feel that way when the Mercs realize you're here to help him. I should go. Sounds like I don't have much time to waste. You've got all the time in the world. Archangel? Not so much. Great. I hear you're recruiting. Mm. Why don't you step inside? You'll get paid when the job's done, just like everyone else. Who's next? You three look like you could do some damage. Looking for a good fight? Sure. Sign me up. You could say that. Standard fee is 500 credits each. You get paid when the job's done. If you die, your friends don't collect your share. You'll need your own weapons and armor. Looks like you got that covered. And no, this does not make you a member of the Blue Suns, Eclipse, or the Blood Pack. You are a freelancer, period. Any questions? What's the plan of attack? What do we do once we're there? How do we get to Archangel? The mercs will tell you when you get there. Last I heard, they were putting the freelancers into scouting groups. They attack in waves to distract Archangel while we try to get past his defenses. We're a distraction? So we're just fodder for his bullets? If you don't like it, don't sign up. But if you do your job right, it's easy credits. Besides, what are the odds he can kill all of you? Oh, yeah. 
He's just been holding you guys off for days now. Alright, where's he at? Where's the attack taking place? Archangel's base of operations. He's been hiding right under our noses. I can't tell you exactly where you're going, but we'll get you there. So you can't tell me anything. You can't tell me the plan. You can't tell me how we're gonna get there. Alright, why are you guys going after Seems him? like a lot of trouble for just one guy. You had a whole team, but we dealt with them. Now he's just one guy. But he's got the advantage. It's his base of operations and he knows we're coming. He's planned for an attack like this. We've lost a lot of men trying to get to him already. So we're on his turf. It's gonna be tough to get to him. Like chasing a forge out of the sewer pipes. But that's why we're recruiting. If we just keep throwing fighters at him, we'll get him eventually. Alright, I'm ready to go. Where do we go? Just head over to the transport depot outside the club. One of our boys will take you from there. Send in the next one. Hey, is this where I sign up? Um... How old are you, You look son? a little young to be freelancing as a merc. I'm old enough. I grew up on Omega. I know how to use a gun. Yeah, you know enough to get yourself killed. I can handle myself. Besides, I just spent 50 credits on this pistol and I want to use it. Get your money back. Hey, what are you... Trust me, kid. You'll thank me later. Man, that's some bad craftsmanship. If I could just slap it. Before we get into this thing, I gotta buy that stuff for the engine. Come on, let me in. If the if the ship falls out the sky, we're all screwed. Are you expecting? Oh, okay. Mega Marcus. some salvage tech. Every credit goes toward a ticket to get me off this forsaken rock. Can we cut a deal? I buy a lot of parts and equipment. Maybe we can make an arrangement. Well, you seem like a decent person, but you can't breathe a word if it's a Harrod. Of course. Then we have a deal. Maybe I'll at least sell something to you. Why are you what here? brought a nice kid like you to Omega? My pilgrimage. What money I had got stolen within a few days, so I decided to sell salvage parts. You can see how that turned out. Harrod's forcing me to sell high, and I can't even afford a ticket off this station. Tell me about Harrod. Why does Harrod control your prices? Harrod made me swear not to undercut it, no matter what. He was here first, so it's his right. But no one will buy from me when he's so much cheaper. I can't save enough money for a ticket off the station. Alright. I'll talk to I could go talk to Herrick for you. Get him to ease up. I won't stop you. If you can convince him to lay off, then maybe I'll get off his station after all. His shop's up the ramp near where Marsh sells his goods. Anything you can do will be much appreciated. Alright, goodbye. I have to go. Please check with my kiosk to see what I have for sale. And thank you. That's the coupling they need? Got it. Heavy weapon ammo? Yes, this is valuable. Please. Yes, please. Might be cool. Anyone 
to dance. Who the hell's Captain Gavel? I don't know a Captain Gavel. Why would I tell him anything? I trust you. Tell Gavorn we know his tricks. We not cure anyone today. Yeah, I'll just be going. Whatever. I not cure anyone today. Tell him. Yo, is that just like a dead guy? Or is he sleeping? Sources say that the Asari Shaira, more commonly known as the Consort, may be leaving the Citadel after years of bad press and rumors of intelligence leaks. I might have something here for you. Not much. Alright. Convince me to shop I'm here. I'm in the mood to spend some money. But I think I can find better stuff elsewhere. You won't find a better selection anywhere. Unless you're willing to risk black market. I'd rather deal with you than give money to those thieves. You sure we can't make a deal? Look, I can't compete with the black market. I have to make a profit. I'll do what I can. Don't tell any girl I'll lose my shirt. Sniper rifle damage? Yes, please. We can use this. Yeah, I'm not into alien porn. I'm good. Oh, that's that motherfucker, Herod. Tentatively excited. Welcome, human. What can I get for you? Let's talk about the quarian, buddy. Tell me about your deal with the quarian over there. Suspicious. If I had made such a deal, I would certainly not be inclined to discuss it. Accusatory. I don't understand how it is any concern of yours. Look, man, just leave the quarian alone. What if you and I make a deal. You let him set his own prices, and I won't break your legs. With barely contained terror. You drive a hard bargain, human. I haven't even started. Resignation. Very well. I will release the Quarian from his promise. Conciliatory. To show there is no ill will, I offer you a discount on my own wares. What do you have? What kinds of things do you sell here? Friendly, salvaged parts. All kinds. Mostly legitimate. With pride. My prices are the lowest anywhere on the station. You won't find salvage cheaper than mine. I have things to do. Courteously, have a fine day. Take a look at my kiosk if you want to buy anything. Yeah, I don't think so. You don't have anything I want. Now we gotta go to the transport depot. Captain Gavorn? So, I heard a human went into the plague zone. Then I found out about a lot of dead Vortia down there. You know anything about this? Who, me? No. Dead Vortia? No. Don't know anything about that. Uh huh. Right. Well, my job just got a whole lot easier. I'll just Bye. be going. Keep up the good work. Omega, what a piss hole. At least it keeps you on your toes. I've had to come here on business before. I feel like I need a shower afterward, in addition to normal decontamination. I 
I'm on the mission. I hope you're ready. Archangel's been annihilating you freelancers. What? What do you mean? Ready when you are. Get in. Mercenary work. You guys should be good for it. It's about time they sent me someone who looks like they can actually fight. They tell you what we're up against? Not really. The recruiter was a little vague. We wouldn't get many hires if everyone knew the truth. Archangel's holed up in a building at the end of the boulevard over there. He's got superior position, and the only way in is over a very exposed bridge. It's a killing ground. But he's getting tired, making mistakes. We'll have him soon enough. Great. You guys have a plan? A small team is waiting to infiltrate his hideout, but we need to draw Archangel's fire so they can move in. And that's where we come in? Exactly. You'll be on a distraction team. Head straight over the bridge and keep Archangel busy so the infiltration team can sneak in behind him. That's gotta have suicide. Pretty much. But you look like you can handle it. Head up to the boulevard and get to the third barricade. Talk to Sergeant Kathka. He'll tell you when to go in. All right. I better go find Sergeant Kathka. Good idea. Watch yourself on the boulevard. Archangel's killed dozens out there already. In's gonna be easy. Out's gonna be a bitch. One thing at a time, people. Let's find him first. Then we'll figure out how to get back. Guess we're going with the mercs. The heavy mechs and gunship possess considerable firepower. Weakening them before leaving will improve your chances. Thanks, CD. As the first wave goes in, the infiltration team will attempt to take Archangel by surprise. I don't expect much from the freelancers. When they fail, we are up next. The light mechs go in first. If that's not enough, we send in the heavy. Be prepared. Need something? Who are you? You lead the Eclipse? You figure that out by yourself? I'm Jareth. I run Omega's no. Eclipse. What do you need, freelancer? I need you to stop being a dick and just answer me. What do, Arch what do you know about Archangel? What do you know about Archangel? His life expectancy is shortening quickly. Is that it? Nobody seems to know anything about him. Look around, you'll learn what you need to know. He's smart, he's resourceful, and he's dangerous. But we've got him cornered, he won't be making fools of us much longer. Can I assist you further? Where did he come from? Who is he? Even his team didn't know that. Maybe we'll know more once we have his body. Of course, it really won't matter then. I'll get going. Right. Good idea. I've spoken to Garm, and he and his men are on board. Assuming this operation is successful, we can count on high morale and extensive buy-in from the men. From the losses we've already taken, possible. Possibility exists that we won't have the men needed to continue on the next objective. It's clear, though, that none of our organization would be ready to move on Arya without the assistance of the other two. Yeesh. Arya should know about this.
That's 3,000 credits. That should slow him down. Perfect. It'll be hostile if they activate it. Wish it could affect these other ones. Oh, watch yourself, Vorja. You're in the wrong place, Freelancer. Who are you? You the Blood Pack leader? Name's Garm. That's all you need to know. I'm stuck here waiting till you freelancers are done playing war. Ask your questions and go. Alright. Tell me about Archangel. What do you know about Archangel? He's a pain in the ass. He's a Turian, which makes him slightly worse to look at than you. And he's brave till he realizes you're more than he bargained for. Seriously? Sounds like you've had personal experience. He tried to take me down once. Waited till I was alone. Longest damn fight of my life. But I held him off till my men showed up. He wasn't so tough after that. We chased him over half of Omega. Almost had him. But the slippery bastard snuck away before we could pin him down. Why are the blood, the blood pack on Omega? We're the muscle on this bloody station. You need protection or want someone removed, talk to us. The Blood Pack are everywhere on Omega. Everybody loves us and everybody hates us. Especially Archangel. I'm guessing Archangel mostly just hates you. He's just an uptight asshole. I don't really care what he thinks. But he's costing me men and making me work for my money. I'll be the one to take him out today. You watch. I'm the only one who's fought him one-on-one. -on -one. What happened? You fought him? He tried to take me down once. Waited till I was alone. Longest damn fight of my life. But I held him off till my men showed up. He wasn't so tough after that. We chased him over half of Omega. Almost had him. But the slippery bastard snuck away before we could pin him down. Now we're talking in circles here. All right. I should get going. About time. Dicks in the chemo district. Well, since nobody nobody wants it, I'll take it. This looks interesting. Oh, hello. That was a nice closet. What 
you want, Freelancer. Oh, well, everybody's so friendly on this station. I don't want excuses. Tell Kafka to get that gunship working, or he'll be next over that bridge. And somebody get me those damn blueprints now! Get this Freelancer out of here. I don't have time for this shit. Oh, I just have a few questions about the operation. Get, get this scum out of my face! Sarek, what seat in your ass? Zaid. You know him? I take it you two are acquainted? We've crossed paths a few times. Since when do you work for so little? Since when are you a goddamn madman? It's Archangel. This guy's gonna kill me. Almost did already. That bad, huh? Worse. Look, Zaid. I gotta deal with this shit. Jinta, talk to these guys. Answer whatever questions they have. Good to see you. And who knows? Maybe you'll solve my problem for me. Anything's possible. Good thing you know it. Tarek hates having to hire freelancers. He doesn't trust anyone outside the Blue Suns. You don't say. What can I do for you? Alright, why are Blue Suns after him? What do the Blue Suns do on Omega? We supply goods to a lot of the groups and factions here. Good. Weapons, mechs, machinery, you name it, we can get it. We also broker deals between factions. You wouldn't know it to look at him now, but Tarek can be quite a negotiator. How did Archangel get the Blue Sun so mad at him? He harasses and hounds us constantly. We worry that every job is a trap now. Does he know where this meeting is? Will this shipment suddenly disappear? How many men will we lose this time? Tarek's had enough. I don't blame him. Alright, what can you tell me about what him? What do you know about Archangel? He's a Turian vigilante who thinks killing mercs is a fun way to pass the time. Other than that, he's a mystery. He shows up, usually at the worst possible time, and screws with our work. He can't die soon enough, if you ask me. Yeah, this sounds personal for you. Why do you hate him so much? He went after Tarek. At his home. Almost got him. Tarek's been on edge ever since, and he's making my life a living hell. Second guesses every damn thing I do. Getting the other merc bands to help us shows you just how desperate he is. They're as bad as Archangel. So what's your guys' plan? What's Derek gonna do if the infiltration team fails? To start, he'll shoot any freelancers that are still alive. After that, oh, really? Eclipse and the Blood Pack take their shots. I suggested we work together, but he doesn't trust the other groups. So he just waits while we get slaughtered? What if Archangel survives all the attacks? Then you sons are on your own. That's why Tarek wants that gunship fixed so badly. But it won't come to that. Archangel's good, but he can't hold out that long. He's already been in there over a day. We better get going. Good idea. Make sure you check in with Kafka. What's up, man? This is crazy, isn't it? I'm looking for Sergeant Kafka. You and me both, pal. He's over there, working on the gunship. We go over the bridge when he gives the word. Go talk to him if you want, but I'm in no hurry. All right. I'll be right back. Good luck. Kafka? Sergeant Kafka. Must be the group Salky mentioned. You're just in time. Well, uh, I'm here now. Were you waiting for us? The infiltration team is about to give us a signal. Archangel won't know what hit him. Got any questions? This may be your last chance. How's the gunship doing? Are you gonna give us cover with the gunship? Huh. Tarek is the only one who flies her. Besides, she's not quite ready. That bastard Archangel gave her a beating last time she was out there. In a few more tweaks, she'll be as good as new. What's, who's the infiltration team? How will the infiltration team get to Archangel? They've got two options. They trap him in close quarters and finish the bastard off face to face. If that doesn't work, they have explosives. They'll just need time to set up. 
shit. Are you coming? Are you leading the assault? Ha! <laughs> Tarek doesn't pay me to fight. I just plan the attacks and fix the damn gunship. You freelancers get the privilege of... Check. Bravo team! Go, go, go! Archangel's got quite a surprise waiting for him. But that means no more waiting for me. Gotta get her back to 100% before Tarek decides he needs her again. You're working too hard. Archangel doesn't have much time left. What the hell are we waiting for? Come on, we'll give these guys a surprise of our own. Hostiles! Archangel? Good to see you. Garrus, what are you doing here? Just keeping my skill sharp. A little target practice. You okay? Been better, but it sure is good to see a friendly face. Killing marks is hard work, especially on my own. Yeah, how'd you end up here? What are you doing out here on Omega? I got fed up with all the bureaucratic crap on the Citadel. Figured I could do more good on my own. At least it's not hard to find criminals here. All I have to do is point my gun and shoot. Hey, you took a shot at me. You nailed me good a couple of times, by the way. Concussive rounds only. No harm done. Didn't want the mercs getting suspicious. Uh-huh. If I wanted to do more than take your shields down, I'd have done it. Besides, you were taking your sweet time. I needed to get you moving. So why are they calling you Archangel? Since when did you start calling yourself Archangel? It's just a name the locals gave me for all my good deeds. <laughs> I don't mind it, but please, it's uh, <clears throat> just Garrus to you. How'd you manage to piss off every major Merc organization in the Terminus systems? It wasn't easy. I really had to work at it. I am amazed that they teamed up to fight me. They must really hate me. 
So now what? Well, we got here. But I don't think getting out will be as easy. No, it won't. That bridge has saved my life, funneling all those witless idiots into scope. But it works both ways. They'll slaughter us if we try to get out that way. So we just sit here and wait for them to take us out? It's not all that bad. This place has held them off so far. And with three of you, I suggest we hold this location, wait for a crack in their defenses, take our chances. It's not a perfect plan, but it's a plan. It'll do. All right, let's get ready. They'll be here soon. Yeah, that they will. Let's see what they're up to. Hmm. Looks like they know their infiltration team failed. Take a look. Scouts. Eclipse, I think. One less. More than scouts. One less now, though. Indeed. We better get ready. I'll stay up here. I can do a lot of damage from this vantage point. You... You can do what you do best. Just like old times, Shepard. Let's give these bastards everything. Alright, Miranda. Mm. You go over there. Mm. Sonny, you go over there. Mm. I wanna help out Garrus. in the base. Don't worry. Eclipse! 
Ow, that hurt. If you want something done properly. All right, let's see how you handle this, Archangel. Sending out the heavy mechs. That problem should take care of itself. Eclipse marks have made it into the base. They barely touched me, and we got Jareth in the process. I've been hiding that different? bastard for months. Why were you after him? He's been shipping tainted Izo all over Citadel space. Half the goods I seized back at CSEC came from his team here on Omega. I took out a big shipment a while back and killed his top lieutenant in the process. Not surprised he decided to work with the other mercs after that. Alright, so what's our plan to get out of here? We've still got Blood Pack and Blue Suns left. Think we can make a break for it? Maybe. Let's see what they're up to. They've reinforced the other side, heavily, but they're not coming over the bridge yet. What are they waiting for? Shit. What the hell was that? Damn it. They breached the lower level. Well, they had to use their brains eventually. You'd better get down there, Shepard. I'll keep the bridge clear. Yo, I'm not leaving you alone up here. Let's split up two and two. Keep one of my team here. You sure? Who knows what you'll find down there? 
Miranda will stay. Miranda, stay with Garrus. Keep him alive. Thanks, Shepard. You better get going. All right, which way? How do I get to the basement? Go down a level. The basement door is on the west side of the main room behind the stairs. I'll radio directions if you need help, but you've got to get down there quick. Good. All right, Masani, let's do this. I gotta hurry 
this up. Shield. I need help with this guy, Shepard. 
Get him, Miranda. We took out Garm and his blood pack. This day just gets better and better. He was one tough son of a bitch. Yeah, I know you knew Garm. You fought with him before? Yeah, we tangled once. Caught him alone, none of his gang, to help him. We still couldn't take him out. I've never seen a Krogan regen that fast. He's a freak of nature. He just kept at it until his fortress showed up. It was close, but I had to let him go. Not this time. All right, let's get out of here. Only the Blue Suns are left. I say we take our chances and fight our way out. I think you're right. Tarek's got the toughest group, but nothing we haven't faced before. Besides, he won't be expecting us to meet him head on. Get your head down! Shit. Damn it, I thought I took that thing out already. They fixed it, but not completely. I made sure of that. They're offloading troops. Watch your back, sir. Right, time for me to switch up.
again. Getting you out of here, Garrus. Just hold on. Radio Joker, make sure they're ready for us. He's not gonna make it. He's gonna make it. Garrus, but he took a bad hit. The doc's corrected with surgical procedures and some cybernetics. Best we can tell, he'll have full functionality, but... Shepard. <laughs> Tough son of a bitch. Didn't think he'd be up yet. Nobody would give me a mirror. How bad is it? Heh. <laughs> no worse than usual. Hell, Garrus, you were always ugly. Slap some face paint on there, and no one will even notice. Oh, oh, don't make me laugh. Damn it, my face is barely holding together as it is. Ah, uh, probably for the best. Everyone was always ignoring you and hitting on me. Time for you to get a fair shot at it. Frankly, I'm more worried about you. I've heard bad things about Cerberus these past few years. Don't worry, we don't have to trust me. Trust him. Plus, you got my back. That's why I'm glad you're here, Garrus. If I'm walking into hell, I want someone I trust at my side. You realize this plan has me walking into hell, too. Hmm. Just like old times. I'm fit for duty whenever you need me, Shepard. I'll settle in and see what I can do with the forward batteries. Oh, 
All right, that's gonna do it for me today. I need some rest. Jeez, that was that was rough. All right, see you guys later. Peace.